Good morning, guys. It is currently 3.23 in the morning. Why am I up so early? I am heading to work. I just got a new job at Steiner Studios in Brooklyn, New York, and I'm working on season four of Power Book 2 Ghost. So if anybody knows the show, you'll know what I'm talking about. If not, it's a really great show. And when I first moved to New York, it was like my dream to want to work on this show. Those of you guys who don't know, I'm an assistant costume designer. So what that means is that there's a costume designer that designs all the looks that, you know, basically styles all the entire show. I am in a position where I get to assist the designer by styling myself shopping making sure that we have everything that we need to be successful for the show the show runs from from now until july and that's normal and typical for a show it's like six seven months but very long days long hours um, this is my earliest start on the show so far this is only our third day of shooting so i hope i don't have too many more of these because i live an hour away from the studio because i'm currently in with social and i are currently in jersey as you guys know but they Gave me a rental car, which is nice, but yeah, driving an hour back and forth every day sometimes is definitely a struggle. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep getting ready here. Give you guys a little insight on my morning routine of shorts. Natural dealer, always. I use the same product on my entire body. I only use coconut oil ever. Just got my hair braided yesterday. Put this oil on my scalp as well. Also rocking with a natural toothpaste. Today we're going with um, my Celine jeans. Next up, uh, we're putting on the LR3 t-shirt, which has an incredible fit. Everything in the brand is one size fits all. And the way that they perfected this t-shirt is just like, wow. And the material and the weight is what makes it perfect. And obviously their signature orange stripe on the back, phenomenal. Gonna go with the green beanie. This one is from um, Bowden, so B-O-D-E-N. Next up is a hoodie uh, from Ask Yourself. So shout out to my dad Chris from Aussie Brand. Uh, it's LA based, but he lives in Europe actually. Um, we have a collab coming soon, fingers crossed. Um, so this is a collab hoodie that I did and painted the chest and just some other areas. But this is just a sample that it, it'll probably come out a little different than this um because he wants me to take it a little farther so i'm just gonna wear this it's actually my first time wearing it out but decided to put this one on today i don't know where i put my socks i don't talk about socks often but shout out to garrett wilson owner of marcel everett these are his new socks they're phenomenal these are my every days all-time favorite boots right now. They're called Carolina Boots, that's the brand. And they're just uh, logger style boots, but they're so comfortable. I've had these boots for like four or five years now. I got them in Montana while I was working on the television series Yellowstone. Best, best purchase, they're like 200 bucks. Here we are so far. Uh, next up, put on my great Anushka coat. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've seen me wear this coat a bunch. It's amazing. Not my best fit, but I'm not mad at it at all. It's just comfortable, it's cozy, you know, gets the job done. The boot choice isn't making a lot of sense to me, but it will hopefully once I put my other coat on. I have my first first ever purchase from LR3, which is this raincoat, which is amazing. It also comes with a hood, but I took the hood off and uh, I'm just gonna wear it like this today. So we'll see how this looks. A lot going on, a lot of layers, but I will be warm and I will be dry. To top it off, my David and Goliath sample tote bag. And we're done, off to work. It is now four o'clock in the morning. My ETA is 4.47 with a 50 minute drive into the city. Don't vlog and drive. <laughs> Bam, since 3 o'clock is starting to hit. I'm not drinking caffeine right now. 
I usually drink mantra. I may have to break that today because tonight is, um, we have an event at TA. We're doing an all day pop up with New Balance and Bricks and Wood, a new collab sneaker. Because guess what? I gotta do this all again tomorrow. <laughs> Can't even talk. <laughs> Who am I? It's like 7 a.m. right now, so slept in a little bit. I have to be in as early this morning by the grace of God and the grace of my costume designer. We got a long, long show ahead. I can't burn myself out too early. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope that this video encourages you guys to get up and put your energy and your faith into what it is that you guys do. Like this isn't at all my end goal, being a costume designer. If any of you guys are in a situation where you're not necessarily working your dream job, you're like, what's well, taking so long for me to do the thing that I really, really want to do? Like, why is it that I can't get things right? I've been doing this for nine years and, uh, Nobody ever really knows because I don't talk about it. I mean, it's hard to talk about it because I can't show my like day to day. It's not that I keep it private. It's just one of those things where it's like, sometimes I'd rather not talk about it so that, you know, I can focus on why it is what I'm doing and not have any distractions or have any doubts or feel bad for missing stuff. Because definitely when I'm like, when I'm working on TV shows, I miss a lot. Like I miss near, um, I miss Paris Fashion Week. There's just stuff I won't be able to attend. It's a blessing because obviously like, you know, it's a job and I'm working, but you know, there's never really a promise of what time I'll be off. So it just gets kind of, it just gets a little hard in that way. I'm super grateful nonetheless and happy to be where I am. And I know that I'm only here for a reason, only here for a purpose. Um, and trust that God is going to lead me into where it is that my heart desires and where it is that I know that he's capable of me leading me to, because I know that there's more because there's always more. Because God is a God of abundance. It's just about being a steward over where you are. So I'm just in a place where I like really just want to steward over the gift that I have. Um, because I know that it will only reap a harvest. Like I'm planting a seed. So um, yeah, just want to leave you guys with that. I'm going to floss my teeth. You guys don't need to see that. <laughs> Going full Levi's today. Levi's jeans. Just some raw cut 501s. Levi's pocket tee. Which this t-shirt fits so good. It's just like, a, it's like a vintage tee. Like it's cut like one of their older shirts, which is like so sick. Love this t-shirt a lot. If anybody knows me, knows I love a denim tuxedo. So going denim tuxedo. Don't want to see the white t-shirt. My vintage Catch the Spirit United Methodist Church hat. Shout out to Fire of God. Got this in, um, in Tulsa. Topping it off with the Banana Republic Sherpa. Shout out to Tim's. Thank you guys so much. This was a gift. I've never owned a pair of these. Not really my style, but I think this is gonna be cool. And even though this is my first pair of Tim's, I know that you're not supposed to lace them properly. So you gotta skip some holes, gotta keep them loose. You know what I mean? That's a pro tip for anybody that has Tim's or wants Tim's. You never lace the Tim's all the way up. And gotta keep the tag on. Like I said, this is different for me, but I'm not mad at it. Shout out to Banana Republic. This jacket was also a gift. This coat, I should say, was also a gift. This whole fit was gifted. I didn't buy anything I'm wearing right now. That is crazy. Um, except the hat, I bought the hat. How blessed is that? Like, wow, that's crazy. Um, but anyway, that wasn't to flex or anything. It was just like me like having a moment of gratefulness. But this is the fit. Dang, two years ago, I was not where I am right now. Wow, like God is so good. Like four years ago, I was like wanting to get gifted and wanting to be a stronger force in the, in the industry and wanting to have like more opportunities like and within fashion and um, film and television. And like, now I'm working on like my dream project and I look down and like, 
everything that I have on is was gifted. It's like, wow, like when did when did I get here? <laughs> and then, you know, obviously like still keeping that kind of grit to want to do more at the same time. It's just all a blessing, man. And it's really like, it takes time, it takes patience. There's no fast track to any of this, you know? Four or five years isn't a long time. A year isn't a long time. But so much can change within that time. If you just look back and, and think about where you were versus where you are now, especially if you're working hard and being diligent about the things that you want to be doing. closet's like a mess it always happens when i work and i think this is my first time doing this but this is literally all the clothes that i own i've been selling clothes a little bit more recently and i do have like two boxes of clothes downstairs um but they're not big boxes and this is like my everyday clothes like downstairs is like stuff that i don't really wear as much those are shoes that i don't really wear as much but stuff that i still love and then these are like my you know like my rotation and then these are all my other boxes shout out to timberland had these on today shout out to nike mo um but these are like this is it a lot of people always ask like man how do you how do you put clothes together like blah 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 blah, blah. your closet must be crazy and funny enough that's the secret to my sauce i don't own a lot so it forces me to be more creative it forces me to like put together different combinations of outfits more consistently because I'm not like rushing to wear the new thing that I got because everything that I have, I've had and I've sat with and I've been like, okay, this is how I could wear this. And then I get something else. I'm like, oh shoot, now I can wear it with this. And then it like opens up a whole new world. I'm big in a functionality right now. Like I, I want to be able to wipe my hands on my clothes. I want to be able to go ride my skateboard randomly if I need to like that is the best for me to like be like oh wait I can actually get around how I want to get around without having to think like oh but what's gonna happen to my pants or oh I don't have the right shoes on like everything that I've been wearing for the most part like of course like today wouldn't have been one of those days I've ten I had Tim's on but like I want to be in stuff that has like extreme function to the like parts of my life that I enjoy doing that I may randomly want to do not sure where I'm at outfit wise but this is kind of a start this anderson bell jacket shout out to 1032 space in oklahoma city and then with these new pants that i got which i love uh it's this brand called ichi antiques i got this from oroboro in um soho probably wear this jacket with that like that but this jacket is warm, but I need more layers, so I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that. I could wear this again, but instead wear it underneath. So double layer it, like so. Boom, looks pretty good. And then undershirt, I'll figure that part out later. Probably just throw a thermal on. I always wear something on my head. All these just fell. I can't wait, we're moving soon. I can't wait to have an actual functional closet where everything has a proper home because this is not working. Yeah, I don't know, I gotta figure out what shoes I wanna wear. And I definitely don't know what hat I wanna wear. I'll probably put on my green beanie again, which I've been liking a lot recently. I also love like pulling out random stuff that I have, not random, but like stuff that I haven't worn in a while. So maybe I'll wear, especially when I know that I love it, it just like has had its time for a little bit. Like these golden gooses. Love these shoes, but, and you can tell that I love them because they got some heel drag. Like when I first got these, I could not stop wearing them because they're very comfortable, but I haven't worn them in a while. And they very well could go with this fit, but then my legs would be exposed. So then I'd have to pick a sock. And I don't know if the socks that I would wear are clean, but this could work. Very functional. I could skateboard in this, which I have done in these, just like cruising them. So that's option number one. Option number two, I could go back to the handy dandies. I've been wearing these shoes more than any other shoe that I currently own. And you know, sometimes when you just like, you just kind of figure it out, and it's just like, dang, these shoes go with everything. But like, dang, like I could really wear this every day. I go through phases like that with pieces in my closet because 
I don't have a lot. But same color as the other shoe, but the Visfim Skagways, the low tops, bro, so good. I've been wearing these a lot, but they're not the most comfortable shoe. They're very flat. The entire like insole is leather. Like I said, they're flat. There's not much give in them in the insole at all. Like there's not much cushion. I mean, they're well-made shoes, but they're not very comfortable like for an all day thing. And probably because they're handmade. But anyway, great shoes. Love these a lot. I've been wearing them a ton. Um, and this may be an instance where I wear them again. And then option number three, I think I'll just pull these out and put a little hat matcheroo with the Joni Hill Sambas. See what that looks like. I'm gonna take you guys with me to see what this fit's gonna be. Stand by. Day of this vlog. All right, so you guys gotta help me out. Quick fashion question. Shout out with this check nine. These with the high tops. Mm -hmm. Shout out with these with my low tops. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'll just wear these then. Again, guys, please don't mind the mess. It's a lot going on, but we said these. That's the right decision. Quick outfit rundown. David and Goliath sample hat, which I think you guys have seen already. Perfect, can't wait to launch these. I'm wearing a Duble sweater with the fringe on the bottoms. Sick, pockets coming out at the bottom a little bit. Under that, I have on my collaboration, Justin Boone and Ask Yourself collab hoodie which is perfect, very thick, very nice material. And then obviously you guys saw that it was zipped up to kind of hide all the paint, but I just liked how it was tucked out. Underneath that, I have on this vintage Martin Luther King t-shirt. I just have it worn inside out, but the color I think was really perfect. Then at the bottom, I have on probably my favorite jeans of all times. You guys ask about these jeans so often. Um, but these are Levi's 517s with the, wait, where is it? With the orange tab. So perfect fitting pant. These jeans are literally the best. Um, and then got custom work done uh, by my friends, Science and Kindness in Minnesota. So they patched these up for me because I've had them for a while and they were completely shredded. So they patched up all the holes so that they were wearable again. And on then on the bottom, I have my beat up, skated up, painted up band slip-ons. I've had these for a very long time, which is why I went and bought these ones, which are slightly newer, but still pretty beat. Um, and then I have even another pair that are brand new, but are going to be a collaboration um, between myself and Vans, an unofficial collaboration, by the way, but um, it'll be a collaboration uh, that I also plan on launching this year. So hope you guys like what these look like because they will look a lot like this, just a little different. Um, and I'll be launching those on my own personal website very soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. I have a lot going on today, so I don't think I'll be able to record. So I'm just going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Peace.